Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're actually doing another subscriber competition idea so many thanks to the person who did this you know who you are and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting the moons of Jupiter around Saturn and the moons of Saturn around Jupiter so this is going to be pretty interesting also guys the subscribers right now we are going up so many so just many many thanks to everyone who subscribed you're awesome it's much much appreciated like i just never thought i'll get this far it is just completely insane like i cannot believe it like we only hit 1100 the other day and now we're already at 1120 subscribers so i reckon we can get to 1.2 so 1200 before the end of the month i reckon we can do it so let's see if we can do it and yeah that's all i want to say so Let's get into this. So we actually need to go into a basic solar system simulation here because we can't use my custom one for this. So let's go into um, yeah, good old normal solar system here. So what we need to do is we're going to start off with Jupiter first. So we're going to add moons as you would do normally. So we're going to do that. So now the moons of Jupiter are all here. And if we um, slow down time and hit play, all the moons should be orbiting like they normally would. So, okay, there we go. That's what we want. So... Then what we're going to do is, we're going to add a Saturn in. And we're going to put the Saturn pretty much exactly inside Jupiter, right there. So it's pretty much in the exact spot as Jupiter. So now we're going to delete Jupiter, put Saturn in all two orbits, so it orbits the Sun. And then we're going to select all of Jupiter's moons here, and we're going to auto-orbit them. So we can't have them completely accurate to their real orbits, but to manually change every single one of these, it would literally take me hours. So we're just going to do it the simpler route here. So now if we hit play got be careful with this but we should be good so slow down time put orbits on so we can see they should be reset so there we go so now we've got all of jupiter's moons around saturn pretty much so we put saturn in jupiter's spot so yeah there we go that's looking good so now what we're going to do is we're going to head away from that for now and actually we'll also add jupiter's rings to saturn as well so we're going to do that so now we've got jupiter's rings around saturn so that's pretty interesting so next up, we're going to go to the Saturn, the regular one, and we need to delete this and add a Jupiter in. Because I don't want to put um, Jupiter in Saturn's spot and then add moons, because it's just more complicated. So yeah, we're going to have Saturn in Jupiter's orbit and Jupiter in Saturn's orbit. So yeah, it's not going to, nothing really will happen, so it's fine. So we're going to, actually no, we need to add the moons first. What am I doing? So we're going to add moons to the planet. So we should have all those guys there. Those guys should all be in orbit now, as we can see here. Well, I'm hoping... What the heck? Are they orbiting or not? Um, no, they'll change when we auto-orbit anyway. So we're now going to put the Jupiter in here. So right there, right in the middle. Delete the Saturn. So we're going to make you... Oh, actually, we're just going to select all the objects. So we're going to zoom out here. And then we're going to select them all. And then press auto-orbit again. So now they should have all changed. So what have we got now? So if we hit play, it should have fixed them all. And why are these guys all bugged out? <laughs> the heck? Are they are they good? Like what's going on here? Um why are they not orbiting? What is this? Orbit mode is on. What if we just do a single one? Does that work? Okay, I don't know what's going on with Saturn's moons, but it seems to be a little buggy. So auto orbit. Is that gonna fix it? Maybe I just need to speed up time more? Let's try that. Let's close this. Okay, interesting so saturn's moons seem a little glitchy but anyways so we're also going to add saturn's rings to jupiter as well so to get the real good look at what's going on so add so there we go look at that saturn's rings on jupiter it's pretty cool so i'm going to slow this down quickly yep slow it like that so we're going to go ahead and check out saturn first so i'm going to head over here and look at all this damn yeah so saturn worked fine but jupiter's gone weird I don't know what that's all about. So, here we go. So, look at this. Saturn with Jupiter's rings. That's, that's pretty peculiar. Look, It looks like it suits Saturn, I think. So, let's go to the four Galileo moons and see what it looks like. So, here we've got Io. And it's being currently being eclipsed by Saturn. So, that's pretty cool. So, let's turn this off. Get a real good look at what's going on here. And let's get rid of the Milky Way just so we can see everything. So, here we go. Oh, that looks cool. So, I'm going to speed this up. We're going to see what um, unfolds. So everything should be normal. Oh, damn it. I forgot we were poor. So hit play. Oh, it's simulation's a little slow. Oh, that does look nice. Look at that. So that's 
Nice, that's a nice view actually. That does look pretty cool with Jupiter's rings. So can we see the other Galileo moons? We should be able to. So where's Io gone? Alright, there's Io. Where are the other Galileo moons gone? They should be visible. We're like you should be able to see them all with each other. So we've got on labels. Where are they at? So Europa's over there, Ganymede is behind Saturn, and Callisto is somewhere. Um Callisto? Where are you at? There it is. So Callisto's over there. So if you look very, very carefully, you can just see it where that white circle is. So if we speed this up a bit more, it should be there. So keep an eye on Callisto, let's see if we can get a better look at it. So yeah, you can just see it. It's pretty much just a speck like the other stars are on the sky here. So that's pretty cool. There's a front view of um, the new Saturn there, looking good. So can we see in the other one? So there's Europa over there, which is the next closest moon to Io. So we'll have a look here. Okay, looking good. So where is Io? Io? So you, oh, you can see Jupiter from here. What the heck? Is that just me? You can see it from here. Okay, that's pretty interesting. It looks like you can see it from here. So, there is Io there. So it should overtake Europa any point, any time now. So, come on. Come on, you know you want to overtake it. There we go. So there's a view of Io from Europa now. It, actually, dang it, we can't see it. <laughs> come on, hurry up. Go around. Alright, let's see what we've got. So we should be able to see Io now since it is in the daylight. So turn all that off. You can just see it there. So it's not already not the easiest thing to spot, but it is right here. So it's quite. It just shows the the massive scale that these objects are in. Like they're so far away from each other. So where's Ganymede at? Ganymede. So Ganymede's all out here. Yeah, we're not going to see in the other Galileo moons from there. So to conclude, this is what Saturn looks like with Jupiter's ring system and moons. So you got them in a giant like circle. It's basically its own solar system almost. But yeah, there we go. So there's good old Europa. Again, so I, I do like Saturn with Jupiter's rings, does look pretty cool though. Right, that look good. So, let's go out and actually, let's actually go and check out one of these little moons quick. Can we see Saturn from it? Oh, we can just about can. If you look just up there, you can just about see it. So, even from like some of the furthest moons away from the main planet, you can still see the planet. That's just how big they are. Right, that was pretty crazy. So, if that was, that was Earth, you would not see it. So, just about see Saturn there. So, if we land on the surface, there's very little um, object here. 1.5 kilometers in radius. That is very small. So, if we look up, you can just see it there. So, that's, that's pretty cool, actually. But, yeah, you can just see all the rings turning around there and all that good stuff. So, looking good. And is it me or did the rings look bigger than they should have? Uh, let's zoom out. Okay, where, where, where's Saturn again? So, let's go back here. Saturn, all right. Oh, the rings are fine. Okay, I thought there was something up with the rings. All right, so next up, Jupiter. Let's go to where you are in Saturn's orbit. So here we go. Okay, what's what? All kind of sort sort of craziness has happened here because the rings don't look right. That's for sure. See, look, some of the objects are still not orbiting properly. Like, what is going on? They're still in the correct positions, but it's not really. That's very strange. So. Let's go to the closest objects here. So it looks like they they are orbiting it. It's just their trails aren't showing up properly. Yeah, look, you can see here they're all working fine. So saucy little bug in the game. So Mimas, let's go and check you out. So so if Jupiter was Saturn, oh that looks big. See if that was Saturn, it's a lot smaller, but that does look pretty big. Look at that wow. And they got um, Saturn's rings there, looking good as well. Oh, that does look nice. So. Yeah, these objects are usually in the rings of Saturn, but because Jupiter's not on a tilt like Saturn is, you can't really spot it. And there's that giant crater on Mimas there, looking good. So, okay, that's a quite that's quite a big view. So look at the great red spot from here. That's pretty cool. I've seen some videos on YouTube saying it's the eye of Jupiter. I guess it makes sense, but everyone knows it's the great red spot, right? Like that's um great red spot. Like I'd never call that the eye of Jupiter. Like it's a great red spot. <laughs> yeah, but I saw some YouTube videos saying that I don't know who it was from, but I saw some YouTubers. I, don't know, I think it was more than one person. We're just saying that Eye of Jupiter is pretty weird. So, yeah, there's that. Yeah, but personally, I wouldn't call it that. And I'm, I'm entitled to my opinion, so no one complain. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, enough of that. So, let's... Um, I don't know, what am I doing? All right, so let's go out to the next moon. So let's go to some of the other nearby ones. So what's a well-known moon around here? Dio. And let's go to Dio. Now, and I've heard of this one before. So, okay, looking good. So how does Jupiter look from here? So, so we've got more of a high point up here. So... As look good. So we've got the great red spot again. Looking good. I, the rings of Saturn do look pretty effective on Jupiter. I think they look really nice as well. 
Like, you could swap both of them out, but obviously Saturn's rings are the coolest, though, but compared to Jupiter's rings, because Jupiter's rings are very thin, but these rings are proper planet rings, which is pretty cool, so... Yeah. Gotta love the rings when you gotta... Like, they're just, they're just so cool. There's just so many of them as well. Alright, so next up, let's go to Titan. So, okay, Titan... Oh, there's a lot here. Okay, let's just manually find it. I think it'll be easier. So, Titan is out here. So how does Jupiter look from the surface of Titan? So we're going to have a look here. So I'm going to land down on Titan here. It's very dark underneath here. They need to give Titan a proper texture because the black texture under here, it just looks it just looks stupid. I, I, I liked it the way it used to be, where it just randomly generated the colour. But now, since they've added in the colour um, modes of planets, all the moons with atmospheres and stuff, they just have blacked out things and when you turn gas giants back into planets they have that problem as well it's just it's really annoying but anyways let's land on the surface here no this this surface is bugging me i'm sorry guys but this surface is really bugging me so let's let's just give it an orangey color right that's what it should look like something like this because titan's like an orange sort of yeah orange creamy sort of color so but there we go something like that that looks that looks a little better it's not the best but it looks better so if we look up Oh, that, that, that is a nice sight to look at. Look at that. So we've got Jupiter with Saturn's rings. So, oh, that does look cool. But remember, on Titan, you would have Titan's sky and atmosphere in the way. So to make it look a, or look a little more realistic, we're going to go and head, um, add some extra effects here and make it look like what it would look like on the Titan surface. So we're going to remove the star intensity because you probably wouldn't see him from Titan. So something like this. So we're going to key go down do this yeah there we go so titan is more of an orange sort of colored object and its atmosphere is sort of an orangey color made of nitrogen like it's some um, atmosphere so it would look more like this in from the surface of titan so yeah it's either shat the shadow of saturn there or jupiter we should say or we can see some other moons there if we just pause i think is that a moon ah oh, it's just a rock dang it it looked like a moon yeah looking good well, was a bit of a dark spot there that's pretty weird but yeah so Seeing it from the surface of Titan, it, it wouldn't be as clear as this, because obviously the clouds would be in between you and the planet, so it would be a little more misty, but this is the closest we can get to what it probably would look like, so, oh, that looks cool, actually, look at that, Jupiter setting on the horizon of Titan, now that does look pretty cool, that looks beautiful, like, that, that is nice, we should make some custom solar systems with Jupiter with Saturn's rings, because that looks really effective, so, you can see the great red spot again, yeah, there it is there, look at that, that is a very nice shot there, so yeah there we go that that was nice so we're gonna quickly go and reset the background to just stars again fix that so there we go all right so what we got next so if we're gonna go out to okay let's go out to one of the further away objects so yeah this is the this is the furthest well-known moon in my opinion like because like all these guys out here they're just tiny little rocks but this is the last major moon i'd say yeah i i i have piteous <laughs> i'm sorry if i pronounce that wrong but yeah, I'm not good at pronunciation, so we're going to land here. Let's have a little look from Jupiter from this distance. So, okay, Jupiter's in front of us right now, looking good. So, okay, I've got to delete those rings. They're just getting annoying, so we're going to re-add them back quickly. So, they're all spreading out everywhere, so we're going to add Saturn's rings, add ring. There we go, that's what it should look like. I don't know why they're all getting tossed around everywhere, but yeah. So, that looks good. So if we um, have a full a full year, like a, yeah, it'd be a year, wouldn't it? A whole year on this would be one orbit around Jupiter. So we'll do like a full um, a full orbit, if you want to call it that. And its rings are getting mucked up again. That is very strange why it's doing that. Maybe we have to make them a little further out, because maybe they're too close to Jupiter, maybe. But yeah, so okay, let's just leave them so we can go around the planet quicker. So yeah, look at this. Quite a far distance, but yeah, this is pretty much probably the distance that Callisto is from Jupiter in, in normally. So. And let's look good there. So we're going to slow this down again. Then we are also going to re-add our rings. So we'll get that. Okay, so before all the rings go hectic again, that is a good... That's quite a far away view, but you can see the red spot there. Got the rings. The sun is bare, very small. But yeah, there we go. And we will also go out to one of the far moons of Jupiter, like I did with Saturn. So let's go out to one of the... Where, where are they? Yeah, because Saturn's, Saturn's moons are... Yeah, they're different. Jupiter has the biggest moon system, as you should know. So, yeah, Saturn's are a little smaller, but they're still quite far away. But if we look for Jupiter somewhere, we should be able to spot it, hopefully. Where is it? Jupiter? Please? Where is that? Uh, where's the rest of the... Oh, is it there somewhere? 
Ah, there we go. So Jupiter's there. So if we delete this, we need to do a full lap around Jupiter here. So okay, let's just manually move it. This is going too slow. So we'll quickly go and do this. Just a little cheat sort of round to have a look. Now, if we look behind us, we should see it now. So there it is. So the furthest distance from Oh, this is one of the furthest distances from the, the main, or the ring, or not the rings, the, the moons. It's one of the furthest moons. If we look, Jupiter is right there. So, it's actually maybe a similar distance to the furthest moon from Jupiter, actually. Maybe I was wrong, because there, that Jupiter's quite small in the sky, like Saturn was from the moon far away. So, if we had the rings, I want to say um, Saturn looked bigger than um, on, its further, on one of the faraway moons. So, I'm assuming that maybe Saturn's moon is further away than Jupiter's moons, but... How far away? Like, that is quite a far distance, so... And it's not even the furthest one, so if we just go to the furthest one here, does it say it, how far away it is? So, it, no, it's, um... Okay, 18,500 moons um, away, so what about the, the ones around Saturn? So, where's the furthest one away from Saturn? So, so someone like over here, so how many moons away is this? So, that one's 18,000, what is this? So, 17,000, okay, so I was right, so... The faraway moons of um, Jupiter, or the faraway moons of Jupiter, are actually closer to Jupiter than the faraway moons of Saturn are close to Saturn. So, yeah, this guy is actually closer to the parent planet than the one at, in over here is. So, does that mean Saturn's system is actually bigger than Jupiter's? I mean, because like it makes sense, like because their orbits should all pretty much be the same. But according to this, well, I did press auto orbit, so their orbits may have been altered a bit. We can go back and check it actually. So. Yeah, we're going to go and do that quickly, so... Yeah, just to debunk this, I want to know, actually, so... I'm going to add moons to planet, and add moons to you as well, and the regular one, so... Now if we go and find the furthest away moon... So that would definitely be this one here... Yeah, th th it's definitely this one, I'm sure, for Jupiter, so... This guy is... We'll check it again, so... 16,000 here, so we'll put it at its furthest point... Okay, is it... Okay, the furthest point should be here somewhere... I'm guessing. I can't really see it. the orbits of this or these moons are glitched as well, which is pretty strange, but Yeah, that is definitely the furthest one out, I think. And this one's drifting away for no reason, which is pretty weird, but Actually no, I wanna try that again, so maybe I was playing the simulation too far. So I I wanna make this a fair test, so we're gonna slow this down a lot more. We'll add the re we'll add the moons, um like so. So add them in. Hit play. Alright, now they're all they're all that okay, that's correct. So now we're going to go to Jupiter's moons. We'll delete the asteroid belt as well. So I'm going to go here, add moons, hit play. And yeah, these guys are still bugged out. For, yeah, Jupiter's moons are really bugged for some reason. It's, it's strange. So the furthest one. Yeah, it's definitely, I'm sure it, it's definitely this one here. I'm, I'm sure it's this one. So yeah, the furthest moon of Jupiter is, let's check that again. So it was 16,000 moons. So if we go to the ones around Saturn, the first moon from Saturn looks like this guy here. So this guy is um, 13. Oh, maybe I was wrong. No, maybe Jupiter's system is bigger. I oh, know. I think I was wrong. The auto orbit when we um, manually made them orbit must have changed. But yeah. So okay, I'll take that back. So Jupiter's um, Jupiter's mini solar system, if you want to call it that. Jupiter's system. I just called it the Jupiter system. Yeah, this is bigger than Saturn's system. So yeah, there you go. Second largest solar system in the solar system. <laughs> Yeah, but there we go, guys. So, um, hopefully you enjoyed this video of um, me swapping the moons of Jupiter and Saturn. Hopefully it wasn't too boring because, yeah, probably not the most interesting thing since it is just the planets that have changed. The moons haven't really changed. But, yeah, hopefully you liked it nonetheless. And if you want me to do it with Uranus and Neptune, it's up to you guys. I'm not really too bothered about doing it or not. So, yeah, if you want me to do it around Uranus or Neptune, then just say so. Yeah, there we go. But, um, yeah, like I said, hopefully you enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, help us on the journey to 1,200 subscribers. And, yeah, there we go, guys. So make sure you all have a good day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.